In the previous tutorial, I generated this cross tab or joint distribution between religious service attendance and year. You can see that the table is way too large to paste into a paper or report, and so what we need to do is to collapse some of these categories. Instead of having a nine category variable, of religious service attendance, we want to create a variable that collapses some of these. So we could collapse every week and more than once a week into one category. Um, we could collapse five and six into another category, and so on. So I'm going to show you how you would go about doing this. There's really a couple ways you could do this. I'm going to do it with a series of if statements. The if statements are relatively straightforward when you get the hang of them. The way I would do this is if attend equals zero, now I'm going to name my new variable, I'll call it attend2, and I'm going to set attend2 equal to one. And now I'm going to collapse, um, I'm going to keep the people who would never attend in their own category, and I'm going to collapse once a year, or less than once a year, once a year, and several times a year into another category. There isn't necessarily just one right way to do this, of course. Then uh, once a month and two times a month, uh, and nearly every week I'll put those in their own category. And then I'm going to put every week and more than every week another category. So I'm collapsing a nine category variable into a four category variable using the logic here of an if statement. Then I can highlight and run these like that. The output screen will just echo the command back at you, but if there's no error message produced, then we know that the, the, there was a, a success. If we look back at the variable view, if I scroll down to the bottom of the variable view, there's now a new variable called attend2 listed. It doesn't have a variable label. Um, by default, it's given two decimal places, but we can certainly change that. I'm going to make that zero. And once I have this new variable, I can then, and I should mention that at the end of these if statements, you, whenever you're changing the data or creating a new variable, you want to have an execute statement at the end. Okay, I'm going to put a period at the end of that. Now what I can do is assign a variable label to this new variable. Give it a descriptive label here. And I'm going to also put value labels. So the variable, this new variable has four categories. And I want to make those as descriptive as possible so we know what they mean. The first one would be never. The second one would be less than once a year all the way to several times a year.
third category would range between once a month up to nearly every week. And finally, the fourth category is every week or more, period. Now, if I run both of these commands, if I'm successful, again, the commands are echoed back in the output statement. And now if I go back and look at the variable view, I can see this variable now has a label, religious service attendance, and now we have values ranging from 1 to 4. And if I look at a frequency statement of this new frequencies uh, table, this new variable, I can see now I've collapsed the data into four categories. I can use a cross tabs to make sure that I've done this correctly by crossing the old variable with the new variable. Here you can see that um, if the person had a zero, never, on the old variable, they get a one, indicating never on the new. If they had a one, two, or three on the old variable, they get a two on the new variable. Four, five, and six, they get a three on the, on the new variable, and seven and eight, they get a four. Remember, these, these values of one, two, three, and four are really arbitrary. Um, one decides what they mean. In this case, I give them the appropriate value labels. And this cross tab just, I'm just doing this to demonstrate that I have actually done this correctly. Now, since I have a simpler variable, when I do a cross tab using the simpler variable, by year, asking for row percentages again. Now the table is somewhat smaller than the old one. If you recall, the old one was was about was this large. It was really unwieldy. Now the new table is um, about half as big. Um, still quite a big table, and something we probably want to better express with a graph, but at least it's a lot smaller and it could probably fit on a page um, of a Word document.